Hello and welcome. I am the Solaris X, and today we are going to um, mention about uh, the Twitch chat box. Now I use. Um, let me take the name thing off. I use uh, Stream Labs for Twitch chat box, and with Stream Labs, it's great because you can edit few things around and and make it. Um, your own and you got um, the jar w which I will explain to you what the jar is is when you get affiliated or w when um, stuff like that uh, bits and donations and stuff like that is being dropped into the jar uh, but in this session we're going to concentrate about the twitch chat box and how to edit the script so without further ado, uh, have a look at this tutorial which would help you in editing the Twitch chat box. What, tw what a Twitch chat box is, I will explain to you now. As you see here, I've got my Twitch pop-up pop screen. And when we, let's say, chat away, as you can see, on the... OBS screen, the chat is popping up, but all this can be edited, edited to make it look how you want it to look, and it's a nice easy trick, um, to edit the chat screen. All you have to do is go to your Streamlabs. Which will be streamlabs.com. Log in with your Twitch account. Head down to chat box. And it's right by there. As you could see here, you've got a few options. You've got custom CSS, which we're going to come across at any second. We've got clean boxed that is a nice one so basically you got a box and, and the chat goes into the box we got twitch old school and chunky but I wanna make my own custom boxed um, chitch, twitch chat so to do so and also I in the description below you can use my twitch chat if you like how it looks I've customized my one to make it look um, how I li like it to make it look how I like it in, in, the, in on the screen so what we want to go to you go to custom CS and you got op options here custom CS clean if you do copy theme, you make a duplicate copy, and here's the editing thing. So these here, you can customize any of these ones: box, twitch, old school, and chunky. As you could see, if we change to any of them, it will indeed change to the script of of that um, twitch chat. Over here, we got height body and stuff like that you gotta be very careful on what you um, switch because if you change the wrong thing the chat could mess up so let's say we want the height to be 60 on the body let's type in 60 there's not much difference on that one uh, if we scroll down a bit font as you could see, instantly the font's been changed. So let's say we want the th font to be 30 or maybe 80. Uh, width of, of the log file.
I keep it at 60 because then that that screen is is good enough. If you put it down to like let's say one, as you can see, it's very hard to read the text. 12, it's tight and you cannot see it properly. But if you put it as 1,200, that will fill the whole screen, and it will it be interfering with the gameplay. So you want a decent size that's not going to be too small to read or too big that will interrupt with the game screen which I normally leave it at 60 which is pr plenty big enough and pretty nice over here we've got the padding how do you want the padding to look as you can see it's right on the edge there if we do this it's basically the positioning of the box how far you want the box to look again with that you can change the padding with that padding on top Over here is the margins. So I guess, as you can see, the margins is how close or distance is the boxes per text. So margin one, margin two, three, four, five. If you put it again, one hundred. You might have one uh, box per text there, eh? so it might be quite hard to read the text because you're only reading one. If you put it on 1000, it's too much of a, of a space between each text and you're not going to see the text because it's out of the box. So you got to think of which is the perfect margin for you. So um, margin 15 is plenty good, nice distance between each. Margin 5 is nice he laid out equally in five places or oh, th this part here linear gr gradient I really like the changing this one around as it would affect the box and it will make a double color so you'll have like a gradient color which I'll show you now as you could see, that that g is giving it like a nice greenish tint on the top. And did we mess with this one? And that's the nice green tint on the bottom. So this side is for the bottom. And this side is for the top. So if we remove a number from here, so yellow is tint. And what happens if we m remove a letter from here? that is a nice red tint right by there so thus editing the, the tint of each box again this border radius um, is good because this one is how the box looks whether it's a proper box or make it nice and rounded so you can change it five the edges are more rounded put it as 20 it's a nice round edged effect you put it 60 the box looks like a more of a sausage shape and re really nicely done but if you like a re nicely laid out one hang on if I do I'll show you now what happens we save settings now I'm going to go back to my chat and into my OBS as you can see it's changed it to the way I want it to look so it, it's got a nice red tint on the top and it's a nice rounded edge to get your stream link what you do or your chat link what you do see this bar here 
it says click to show widget URL this is your URL I'm gonna copy that and then paste it into your um, OBS and a browser source so you wanna click plus on, on there you, you wanna add source browser source and then name your, your browser source well paste your, your link there with the width and the height and then you wanna click ok to accept changes but because we already got it I gonna remove that so the one I got prepared um, is over here um, I will have it down in the downloads download that and then what we could do is when we come across here we want to highlight this area we want to delete the whole um, script because we're going to reapply my own personal script so we want to click on my script thing which is right by here we want to highlight all of it, we want to copy and paste it right by here as you can see there it's got a nice green tint on the top clear on the bottom a nice um, not boxed um, effect but like a rounded effect it's a, re it's a really nice chat box to have so to grab that go down to the downloads download this thing in the description and delete your your stream labs script and add my custom made one so i hope this helps so like i said if you're not fast around then you can just actually do it yourself and add whatever tint you want add make changes So yeah, that's editing your chat box script and making it stand out, making it unique to to your own um, specification. As you can see, just changing everything around, making sure that, that it is how you want it to look. I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoy my custom made um, chat box when you go out on streaming. And this has been the Solaris X. All the best, take care. Just making sure that. I got the right um, chat box now for my streaming. As I edit it, I just want to make sure that everything's back to normal. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'll leave you alone for now. And I'll see you next time for the next tutorial, the next um, guide. And this has been the Solaris X. Keep it real. Stay awesome.